Okay, so today I'm joined by Kai Kamaka the third. He's coming off a big win over at Bellator 300. So I'm excited to have him on. How are you doing, Kai? I'm doing good. Um, yeah, thanks for having me, Jacob. I'm glad to be, yeah, have the opportunity to talk to you. Of course, man. I'm happy to have you here. Um, so I just want to first off start by congratulating you on all the success you've had. Um, you're only 28 years old. You've fought in the UFC, I believe, four times, right? And you're like a seven-time Bellator veteran as well. So I just want to say congrats on everything, man. You've achieved a lot at a young age, especially coming from Hawaii, a small state, you know? Yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's just living my dream, and it's, it's, I'm really living my dream. I'm, I'm like, no, um, for real, like, I'm living my dream. Um, yeah. I, I cannot say anything else. And, you know, there's a lot of adversity in it. You know, this is a tough life. But this is this is everything I dreamed of. I, I I was I was a small kid in the early stage of MMA in Hawaii, and this is all I ever dreamed of doing. Like uh, guys that were before me never even knew that this was they like, they couldn't even dream of this. Um, like I legit I was legit fighting before Yancy Maderos inside. Like you know it, like because you talked about Yancy earlier. I was mm -hmm. legit fighting before him as a small kid, you know, and then he um. But he he was he he came in a uh, like a like in a transition where um, you know he he's kind of like a, a, a I mean he's a veteran of the game I mean he is but like I was fighting like before I was fighting at like eight years old like fighting kickboxing and whatnot um, and like just the biggest events coming to Hawaii and now I'm like competing in the biggest events you know um, in the biggest promotions so I mean. This is everything I ever dreamed of. And I'm always fighting. I'm always fighting, yeah. you know. <laughs> and if people don't know, um, you're like, your dad owns a gym, right? He used to, he used to, he used to. Okay. Yeah. So growing up, you're always a fighter. And that's what you mean probably when you say you were kind of fighting before Yancey in a sense. And I think like, you know, Max and Yancey and them, they almost kind of fell into MMA in a sense. Like I know Max was starting with kickboxing, then found MMA. Then they kind of gave the blueprint and BJ Penn, of course, to like you younger generation of fighters, like. Uh, you and I know and stuff like that. So you guys are all kind of coming up right now. So is that kind of what you mean? Um, I mean, kind of, but like me and my cousin Ray Cooper, I mean, we had like good examples, like with, with, our, with his dad, with um, my Uncle Ron, um, the gym. So, like, so we were, we were always traveling to like different fights. Uh, we got to see like the biggest fights. Um, and we were just younger than Max and Yancey. Um, yeah, but we were in the sport longer than them. But like we right. were in the sport, um, yeah, l long longer than them. From yeah, so um, we were just we were just we were just uh, younger. So I mean, our time our time came, and, and um, then we kind of just you know did our thing. Okay, okay. So let's just kind of get into the beginning of it then, so you can so I can understand all of it. Um, what was it like for you, kind of growing up in Hawaii as a kid? Um, growing up in Hawaii as a kid, um, shoot, I, we were just like in the early nineties, my uncle, my uncle Ron and my uncle Ray, they were already fighting in like the biggest promotion, um, like one of the biggest promotions at the time, Super Brawl, an icon sport and, and even Shuto, they were fighting in Japan. And so we were already exposed to it in the early, like right when we were born. Um, and then that's, that's what I mean. Like we were this, we were exposed to it from a very young age and then we ended up fighting, I ended up fighting in a young age too and then you know we were well, football wrestling and like kickboxing all in the same all, all at the same time growing up and then eventually I ended up wrestling in college and then after college I just um full-time MMA yeah so was it like a family affair then as far as like when you and Ray were younger um were you guys kind of like training from when you were like maybe like five or like that yeah young? yeah, we, yeah. We, were, we were wrestling we were, we were we were wrestling we were doing all the things that we needed to do to prepare us for for MMA okay and um do you have like I know he has siblings do you have siblings as well and you guys all like mesh together in a sense yeah I mean um Ray's mom and my dad is brother sister like that's how close we are he's a he yes. his mom is a Kamaka um like we we live together like in high school like um yeah, we lived together in high school, so we were we're close as you can get. Um, okay. We FaceTime every day. Um, he's like he's like my brother, you know. Yeah. So. 
And um, as far as like, did you guys get any sh in street fights and stuff like that when you were younger too, or did you kind of keep it? Um, we were just, we, I that? mean, um, I mean, we we were always like active in like um sports and stuff like that. So like, we've had our scuffles, but um, like the, we were just not we were, we weren't drawn to like trouble. We were just all we were do, always in sports and stuff like that. So I mean, it wasn't like um. We were out looking for trouble to where I like, oh, yeah, I was in a treat fight. I'm also busy playing football, wrestling. You know, I wasn't trying to um, kickboxing to where like I was actually fighting in, in, in school. I was preparing for fights in school. It wasn't like um, there was trouble to be found. OK, you guys are probably past that generation because I know back in the day it was like, you know, gym fights and like underground. It wasn't as like mainstream yet. So for you guys, you were able to kind of get that like sanction fights in and stuff like that you didn't need to fight in the streets well the gyms yeah and it was just like we, we we were brought like up in a good household um tight-knit family and we, we we wrestled we played football um so i mean it's it's not like we're it's not a punk mentality you know we're not freaking no, yeah. 